In Laguna, San Pablo City started vaccinating children with comorbidities today. To tell us more about this, Greg Gregoria joins us live from on the ground. Hi, Greg. How many children have been inoculated so far today? And how is or how many children or minors is the LGU in San Pablo targeting to vaccinate all in all? Hassan, by noontime, the uh, San Pablo City uh, government has already inoculated about 100 of uh, 12 to 17 year olds with comorbidities. They are targeting to inoculate about 500 until the vaccination site closes at around 3 to 4 this afternoon. But according to San Pablo City Mayor Loreto Amante, they are targeting to inoculate all of 30,000 registered 12 to 17 year olds in the city eventually. Sean? All right. What about those children or minors without comorbidities, Greg? When will be they receiving their shots in Laguna? Here in Metro Manila, it is scheduled for November 3. What about there? Yes, no, that's right. The November 3 is the uh, uh, kickoff of uh, the uh, uh, pediatric vaccination for all 12 to 17 years old. But if we are to include the inoculation or the pediatric vaccination to all 12 to 17, even without comorbidities in all regions in the country, that would start by November 5, including the uh, uh, 12 to 17 year olds, registered 12 to 17 year olds in San Pablo City. Sean? All right, Greg, hi. I understand you also went to the DOH briefing earlier today. So yesterday, of course, as we know, Bloomberg's COVID resilience ranking, again, we were la ranked 53 or last. What did the health department have to say about this? Sean Health Undersecretary of, uh, Maria Rosario had mentioned that the government is always open in this uh, kind of analysis or observation as to the uh, COVID-19 response of uh, our government. But Verhere insisted that uh, the Philippines cannot be compared to other countries, uh, especially those in, in uh, those high-income countries like the uh, or developed countries uh, like the United States, because according to Verhere. Countries uh, like the United States, for example, already have the uh, 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 already have a different level of health of healthcare systems and resources for vaccination as compared to the Philippines, wherein we we just started from one uh, uh, COVID-19 testing laboratory, one quarantine facility at the onset of the pandemic, and we only had uh, a, uh, a, a, a slow addition to our resources from time to time uh, so, uh, as we go along with our COVID-19 response. Verhere also highlighted that, even, that despite this uh, lowest ranking from the Bloomberg's COVID-19 resiliency, Verhere uh, insisted that the government uh, did not neglected or uh, uh, did not neglected any uh, uh, of its responsibilities for a COVID-19 response. Sean? All right, thank you so much for that update. That was Greg Gregorio of News 5 joining us live from San Pablo City in Laguna. Take care out there, Greg.